Welcome to another video on my um, Raspberry Pi 3 combined with Pi Extend PLC. If you like this video and uh, the rest of the videos on my channel, please uh, subscribe to it by clicking this um, thumbnail um, and then you can get a message uh, that my uh, videos are ready to watch and click a bell if you uh, want to be notified anyway um, previously I uh, started to uh, program not in Python but in C and I managed to get uh, the relay working and I managed to get also uh, the digital input working and the uh, LEDs in the background here you can't see them from this point of view uh, for the digital output and I found out that the lack of signal electrical signal from this um, connector here again wrong point of view but um, in the software um, recording then you will see it has no uh, voltage indeed anyway enough for introduction let's go to the screencast for the software part all right as said a uh, screencast two cameras one pointed at the relays and the LEDs for the, the digital output as well as the digital input right here um, this way and camera um, for the breadboard view front view this is SSH in which I um, start the VNC server which you can see here so this is a little Raspberry Pi with the code and this is the latest code in C um, to activate the uh, relays as well. And let me sharpen the camera a little bit, if possible. Not this worse. That is a lot better. Anyway, let's run the program. And right now, I should, yes, that is better. All right. So, uh, with this, I can also um, switch on and off the other uh, relays. So, let's say I want to see all the relays, and I see the camera isn't at its best yet. But um, let's try all the relays. And to try uh, everything out I have changed the 1 into 2 so SPI set release 2 now let's compile and run so the full digital input And that is number two. So the thing is, it is number two, not just two. And that is a big difference uh, compared to um, the digital output where it went binary. So when I say two for the digital output, it takes two LEDs and now it's number two. So let me change this to three. Com 
pile and test. Let go of the uh, digital input. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's one and two. Um, which is uh, which is binary as well? So one is just the first one, two is only the second one, and three indeed is not the third relay, but it is one and two, so it's binary. Um, Which means, of course, that um, all three is seven. And let me get the binary input again, which is not that important for this test. Now you have all three of them, which is seven in binary. And the fact that I take a delay of 1500 is because relays are uh, electromechanical and they need some time to switch on and off. But that is working. Can I make them switch on each at a time? Of course I can, by extending the code, and then have one, two, um, and then four, and then of course eight. Four and eight come next. So with seven I have this, and with uh, eight, its number is the last one, only this one. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just do it to make sure it is actually working. Um, wait, this is seven, still seven, eight, this is not correct. This is not correct. All right, another test shows uh, that I apparently, uh, obviously, did not compile the new value of 8, which I did now, just prior to recording, and then it clearly shows, apart from the digital input, once again, and uh, number 8 works. So, without a doubt I can say it is indeed um, binary and everything works out the way it should. So, next one is, yeah, what actually? Having them um, working all together, not my juice, but what I can try is measuring um, these results on the oscilloscope for example or on a multimeter but an oscilloscope is uh, much handier and uh, the only thing is though what signal can I expect because on the um, digital output the manual gives that there is no voltage on the digital output despite the uh, LEDs there is no voltage um, 
should I assume then that there is no voltage on the relay output either? Who knows? Um, let's just uh, give a, sh sh uh, a quick test. So one camera now pointed at the oscilloscope. So you will hear some uh, background noise of the ventilator, the fan of the oscilloscope. Once again, it is set to 500 millivolts, half a volt. And the time is 500 milliseconds. And it is not very good visible right now. Um, now you can kind of see, but for best view, this is one. And let's run it. Well, this is obviously oh, uh, with a better result anyway, but that's not the point. This is the point. Um, so it gives a signal normally open and open, but that's all there is. Um, since it is half a volt and not two, three, five, or whatever volts, um, the question is what uses it? So once again, I have to look into the manual for this. Um, and that ends this um, experiment on both the digital input, output and the relays, which, uh, which are now obviously programmable using C. So with this experiment, I've proven that both the um, digital output and the relays are controlled by means of um, binary controlling. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the um, little uh, thumbnail there in the right bottom corner, bottom right corner, whatever. Um, you can also follow me via uh, Twitter and Instagram. Please leave a um, comment or suggestion. Um, you can also donate by uh, means of PayPal, if you don't need an account for that, or IBAN, and you can also choose to uh, become a patron and have your name mentioned. Uh, please take a look at my Patreon page or at my website listed under the video as well um, for more information. This is going to be continued. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.